Acceleration, an important performance metric, is it not? What's your zero to 60? What's your zero to 60? We fixate on it. But what about 60 to zero? Now, there's an important performance metric, one that could be the difference quite literally between life and death in certain situations. And yet, braking performance often fails to captivate our attention when buying a car. Well, at BMW, we know that an authentic ultimate driving machine is one that both accelerates and brakes with equal brilliance, which is why every new BMW comes equipped with brake standby, brake fade compensation, and brake drying. Three technologies that give your BMW world-class braking performance. What would you say if I told you there was a standard safety feature in the gas pedal of every BMW that improves braking distance? You heard me right, a safety feature in the gas pedal that improves braking performance. It's called brake standby. You see, there's a sensor that measures how rapidly you remove your foot from the accelerator. If you remove it with a certain urgency, the brake pads move closer to the rotors in anticipation you'll apply braking force. Now, would you agree that millimeters this way between pads and rotors equals feet this way in terms of stopping distance. And could that reduced stopping distance be the difference, say, between hitting a vehicle or stopping just short of it? It could, couldn't it? So put a price tag on yourself. What are you worth? At BMW, we think you're worth it. Why don't so many of our competitors? Have you ever descended a mountain road that required you to use the brakes frequently? Or have you ever done some spirited driving that required you to stop repeatedly from high speeds? Have you ever towed a heavy trailer? And in all situations, have you ever felt yourself pushing the brake pedal harder and harder to the floor, only to have the brakes feel less and less effective with each use? You know, that sensation when the brake pedal begins to feel mushy or spongy under your foot. Well, if so, then you've experienced brake fade. Brake fade is the loss of stopping power that takes place as the braking surfaces heat up. And trust me, it can be a harrowing experience when your brakes don't respond as expected. This is why every new BMW comes equipped with brake fade compensation a technology that recognizes heat buildup at the brakes and automatically increases hydraulic pressure or boost without you having to push your foot harder and harder to the floor. What I'm telling you is that the connection between your foot and your brain will feel more linear and consistent each time you go to the brake pedal, even as the brakes heat up. Now, does that inspire added confidence when driving? In very real terms, can it be the difference between making the mountain curve or hitting the guardrail? Can it be the difference between hitting a vehicle in front or stopping just short. It could, couldn't it? So put a price tag on yourself. What are you worth? At BMW, we think you're worth it. And again, why don't so many of our competitors? Would you agree that dry brakes perform better than wet brakes? We do too, so every BMW comes standard with brake drying. When our rain sensing wipers detect moisture on the windshield, the brake pads periodically move close to the rotors to eliminate moisture between the two surfaces. Now the brakes won't actually apply, so you don't need to worry about the car lurching underneath you or more rapid brake wear. The pads simply move close enough to knock off the excess water buildup. Could dry brakes be the difference between surviving an accident or avoiding it altogether? So I say again, put a price tag on yourself. What are you worth? At BMW, we think you're worth it. Again, why don't so many of our competitors? So the real question, do these technologies work as advertised? Well, car and driver certainly think so. In 2011, the 3 Series earned a spot on the magazine's 10 best cars list for the 20th consecutive year, a feat unmatched by any other vehicle on the market. Here's what they had to say about the car's braking, and I quote, the brake pedal bypasses the soles of your shoes and goes straight to your brain. Now that's a braking system that is truly an extension of the driver's demands. Let's take a look at some actual performance data to further illustrate the point. Let's start with the BMW X3. Based on testing conducted by car and driver, you see the X3 stop from 70 miles per hour and 165 feet while receiving a perfect score with respect to brake feel. All other competitors needed an added 5 to 15 feet to stop. Now, would you prefer to stop short of another vehicle or drive 5 to 15 feet deep into that car in front of you? I think I already know the answer. Now let's quickly look at the X5. Once again, car and driver performance testing shows the X5 offered superior braking prowess with a 9 out of 10 score for brake feel. That's an A on any report card. And while the X5 was able to stop from 70 miles per hour in 157 feet, every other competitor needed an additional 15 to 27 feet of stopping room. That's essentially one to two full car lengths. Now, which vehicle would you want underneath you in a panic stop? And do I really have to ask? In looking at the 535i sedan, 
you can see that the BMW is clearly head of the class. Not only did we receive a perfect score for brake feel, we also had the best stopping power in a segment filled with self-professed sports sedans. Now in a panic stop, which vehicle would you prefer to be driving? Your only concern now is hoping that none of these other cars are traveling directly behind you. And you know what I'm saying. So I have to ask, why does BMW add all these technologies to every car we build when so many of our competitors don't? Audi promises truth in engineering. Well, wouldn't truth in engineering demand all these features be on every Audi vehicle? Wouldn't truth in engineering demand better braking performance? Mercedes claims to be the best or nothing. Well, did you see a Benz at the top of any of these lists? And if they were to be the best, wouldn't every vehicle they produce have all these braking technologies? As for Lexus, let's just say that when it comes to braking, they still have a lot of pursuing to do. And Acura, well, it's about time to put their money where their mouth is and advance their braking systems. Look, at the end of the day, could we remove all these technologies and build a BMW to be less expensive? We could. But would it be a BMW? No. And could you tell the difference? Suffice it to say, when it comes to braking, what other cars do well, a BMW does brilliantly. We're a diamond of superior color and clarity. We build ultimate driving machines.